Hey, welcome back. I'm Carlton with Put My Poor Barbecue, and today we're going to be doing bacon wrapped stuffed pork loins on a Bradley smoker. So, if you've never done one of these, you want to hang around and see how we do these because these turn out wonderful. And by the way, while you're here, go down and hit the subscribe button and go ahead and hit that little bell next to it so you'll be notified on all the new recipes we come out with. So, let's get to it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I've, when I've already this was an eight pound pork loin and I cut it in half so it fit in the Bradley but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take and we're just going to uh, cut this we're not going all the way to the end we're just going to cut it down the middle and some people uh, take these pork loins and then they'll butterfly them out uh, into a wide sheet. I don't do that. I prefer doing it this way. And you, what you want to do, you want to cut almost to the end, not quite to the end. And then you want to cut down into it, but you don't want to cut all the way through to the other side. You just want to make a pocket in here for your, dre for your dressing. We're going to be using dressing on this today. So I'm just going to cut this down. Not quite all the way through. There we go, there's that one. And let me turn this one over. We'll put the fat side up. And I did trim these prior to doing this. Uh, so I just trimmed off any excess fat, any uh, skin that was on it. And we're just gonna cut these down just about like that. I'm just going to open it up. And we're going to just take these down like this. I'm just making a pocket in both of them. Just like that. Okay. Well, these are some good looking pork loins here. All right. I've got them opened up. Now, we're just using regular dressing cornbread dressing in this. You can use the box type if you want. We made uh, just a pan of dressing that we're going to stuff these with and then I'm going to show you how we're going to wrap them in bacon. So let me get a spoon and I'll be right back. All right I got my dressing here so what I'm going to do I'm just going to take and I'm going to start stuffing this dressing in it. Just go push it down in there. You want to stuff it nice and thick in there. You just Just want to stuff it in there. And just push it down in there really well. And put a little extra on there just. This is going to cook down and this is going to be so good. And some people put cheese, uh, stuff them with cheese. I like them with dressing. Uh, I've made butterfly pork chops the same way. Okay, got that one filled up. Now let's get this other one here. We'll get this one all stuffed up. It's just how I prefer to do it. Um, I like a little more meat uh, than just slicing it real thin and rolling it back up. Uh, you can slice these in the medallions and whenever we get through here. We're going to be cooking them on the Bradley smoker, so they're going to turn out 
fantastic. We're gonna use apple wood since it's pork. I prefer app to use apple wood on pork. So let me get this all finished up here. There we go. Slide this over out of the way. Now we're gonna make sure this is all packed down in there good. Okay. All right. We got these stuffed about like I want them. Now I'm just gonna, uh, we're gonna get the bacon ready. I'm gonna show you how we do that. And we're gonna get them seasoned up. So I'll be right back. Okay, how we're gonna season these, I've got some, uh, the cheaper copper rub, the original, the fine meat rub. And we're just gonna add a little bit. We're gonna go over it lightly with that. This has got some really good spices to it. And we're just doing the top side here. Just gonna, there we go, just about like that. All right. Now we're gonna take some Killer Hog the barbecue rub. And we're gonna go, this combination works really well with pork. Fantastic on ribs. So we're just going to, Sprinkle a light coat on it. Making a mess here, but that's okay. I'll clean it up in just a minute. Next, I'm gonna go with a little extra black pepper. Just for good measure. I like black pepper. Just gonna add a little extra black pepper here. Okay. Now, let me get the bacon ready to go, and I'll be right back. Okay, what I've done, I've took a, a one-gallon Ziploc bag, and I just sliced it so it would come apart and lay out flat. And I've got bacon laid out here like this. Now we're going to do a, an actual weave with the bacon. So what we're going to do, we're going to take every one, other one. Like this. We're going to lay it back, and we're just going to weave this bacon in. Just going to lay this piece of bacon right across here. It's a little long, but we'll lay another one in there. Okay. Now we're just going to lay this back. Now we're gonna get the other ones. The opposite ones, and we're gonna fold them back. And this is gonna create our bacon weave. And you just continue this till you get it all done like you wanted. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and I'll be right back when we get through. Okay, now that we got our bacon weave done up, we're gonna show you what I'm doing here on the last one. Just gonna pick this up. If I can get under here without spilling everything everywhere. And you're gonna sit right about a second. Barely on the side. Get this all mashed down there good. And you're just going to grab this and you're just going to roll it over. I went a little far with it. Just want to get it to where it just overlaps. Now we're just going to go over with it. Press it down. Got your bacon weave on it. Okay. Now, right. 
Okay, our pork loins have been on for uh, about two hours. Now I'm going to go put a coat of honey on them uh, for the lab about the last 30 minutes. And we'll be ready to eat it. Come on. Okay, well our pork loin is rested and we're about ready to slice into this thing. My grandson Joe's here with me. And uh, so basically what we did, we just took pork loin, we cut it, we stuffed it with just regular cornbread dressing, did a bacon weave on it, and we smoked it in the smoker for uh, a couple hours. And then we put a slight glaze of honey on it and let it get to 165 internal and then we let it rest for about 10 minutes now we're fixing to cut into it. it's real easy uh real easy way to do pork loin so let's cut into it he's going to taste it he's going to be the guinea pig this time okay let's take a look at it here man that looks good Look at that. Mm -hmm. Cut him a piece off of it right quick. And look at that. Nice and tender and juicy. We're both going to try this. It smells wonderful. That's actually really good. Don't act surprised. <laughs> huh? Don't act surprised. <laughs> you might you might be eating McDonald's tonight. If so. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Be sure and go down and hit the subscribe button. Like the video. Leave us a comment down there. Let us know what you think. And I want to let everybody know that I appreciate them stopping by. And I want to send a special thanks out to all the men and women in the military that are serving around the world. And I want to send a special thanks out to all the men and women in law enforcement that protect us and keep us safe every day. Thank you very much.